breaking news welcome to today's headlines unam dekano is officially in kenya unam dekano he is officially in kenya says ejimako to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as i read today's news According to Ejimako, there were no extradition, expulsion, or deportation proceedings against Kano anywhere in Kenya. This is according to information released by the special counsel to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Aloy Ejimako, on Monday. Ejimako said, this is the true position of things following the public denial by the government of Kenya of its involvement in the abduction of its client in their country. According to Ejimako, there were no extradition, expulsion or deportation proceedings against Kanu anywhere in Kenya. He further stated that the Kenyan government asserts that its official record shows that Kano is still in Kenya. Ejimako made this claim in a letter addressed to the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami. The counsel to the IPOB leader added that Kano has life-threatening health conditions, which had been aggravated by the mental and physical torture he was subjected to. The letter reads, The government of Kenya, GOK, has publicly denied complicity and involvement in the said abduction, disappearance, torture and extraordinary rendition of our client and asserted in judicial precedent that where that there were no extradition, expulsion or deportation proceedings against our client anywhere in Kenya. In particular, GOK government of Kenya asserts that its official records indicate that our client is still in Kenya. According to Ejimako, there were no extradition, expulsion, or deportation proceedings against Kanu anywhere in Kenya. According to official record, Unamdi Kanu is still in Kenya. This is according to information released by the special counsel to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Aloy Ejimako, on Monday. Ejimako said, This is the true position of things following the public denial by the government of Kenya of its involvement in the abduction of his client in their country. According to Ejimako, there were no extradition, expulsion, or deportations proceedings against Kano anywhere in Kenya. He further stated that the Kenyan government assert that its official records shows that Kano is still in Kenya. Ejimako made this claim in a letter addressed to the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami. The counsel to the IPOB leader added that Kanu has life threatening health conditions, which had been aggravated by the mental and physical torture he was subjected to. The letter reads The government of Kenyan GOK has publicly denied complicity and involvement in the said abduction, 
disappearance, torture, and extraordinary rendition of our client and has started in judicial proceedings that were that there were no extradition, expulsion, or deportation proceedings against our client anywhere in Kenya. In particular, GOK asserts that its official records indicate our client is still in Kenya. According to a GMA call, there were no extradition expulsion or deportation proceedings against Kano anywhere in Kenya. According to official record, Unamdi Kano is still in Kenya. This is according to information released by the special counsel to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Aloi Ejimako, on Monday. Ejimako said this, said, this is the true position of things following the public denial by the government of Kenya of its involvement in the abduction of his client in their country. According to Ejimako, there were no extradition, expulsion or deportation proceedings against Kanu anywhere in Kenya. He further stated that the Kenyan government asserts that its official record shows that Kanu is still in Kenya. Ejimako made this claim in a letter addressed to the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami. The counsel to the IPOP leader had it that Kano has life-threatening out conditions which had been aggravated by the mental and physical torture he was subjected to. The letter reads, The government of Kenyan GOK has publicly denied complicity and involvement in the said abduction, disappearance, torture, and extraordinary rendition of our client, and asserted in judicial proceedings that there were no extradition, expulsion, or deportation proceedings against our client anywhere in Kenya in particular. GOK assert that its official records indicate that our client is still in Kenya. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.